Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, feel free to hit that subscription button. Tarot is about energy. We got high vibe, we got low vibe, we got those in the middle, and those striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, if you feel like something is not you, it may not be you. It could be for someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past on loved one, all right, even your child or your mother, okay, and father. All right. Thank you to all that have donated and thank you to all that have booked. Send wish, well wishes, healing energy. I really do appreciate uh, all of you. Again, this is a karmic reading for those dealing with whatever sign comes out. OK, so the message that I'm getting for you, OK, is greed. Somebody was very greedy. And I also got the message that a, a lot of us uh tarot readers guides communicate so if you hear something that you may have heard on another channel and it resonate it's because those guides communicate now that's for you to use your own discernment a lot of readers copy off of other people all right and those particular readers re readers do get spiritually attacked for doing that because they're putting themselves somewhere they shouldn't be for money or for clout okay so we're going to see what sign comes out either show me what it is i need to see Ooh. this is an aquarius yeah, no, this is Capricorn. Did I do did I do Capricorn already? I don't think so. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Alright, so this reading will be for Capricorn. Alright, so you could have a light path number six or four. Are your person does okay so this is about restoring balance all right um, some of you may have been lied on uh, by this Capricorn or this Capricorn was in, involved in some sort of slander okay they could have been a third party uh, in a situation this third party could have been an Aquarius or a Sagittarius make sure to check out those readings if something pops up on your timeline then you know no matter what uh, it's dated for my readings are timeless okay so it's balance being restored okay somebody is in the middle of a transition okay um, if you don't like these type of readings don't read it this is a karmic reading again for those dealing with karmic Capricorns okay so somebody misjudged you this person um, was unstable okay either you misjudged this person or they misjudged you okay Somebody caused an ending in someone's life, uh, some sort of way, um, by being a third party, a participant in someone's demise. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Or trying to participate in someone's demise. This is a group of people here, a group of dark energy. They, um, I'm hearing bullies, spiritual bullies. Either show me what it is I need to see. Some of you may have traveled away from this person. If you are this person's child's mother, you could be a Sagittarius. You may have traveled away from them or an Aquarius. If this person has more than one uh, child, for some of you, they do. It's like uh, everybody in this in these people's lives, whoever this is, is leaving them, okay? Either show me what it is I need to see. All right, so senses, definitely somebody's a Pisces, whether it was you or somebody in uh, they're dealing with, or this kid, they could have it in their chart. If you do not have your chart, look in the description below. There is a link where you can copy and paste it into a browser for uh, your birth chart information, okay? That's a free site, no affiliation to me. So you could be Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, most definitely. Uh, I see the Leo card. Somebody's definitely uh, a cusper. You may want to check out Leo's reading. So somebody is sensing some sort of change, okay? Or you may have received some sort of download in your sleep, okay? That opened you up to your psych psychic abilities. I feel like somebody got put on timeout. So if you are a third party in this Capricorn, um, I'm hearing child's father. For some of you, this is your child's father. They could have it in their sun, moon, uh, rising, Jupiter, or Venus, yeah, look, somebody was put on a time out, like um, being forced to 
withdrawal here. If this is you, this will give you some insight on what's going on. Either show me what it is I need to see. Again, this will resonate different for everyone if it resonates with you at all. Okay, so we're talking about the Magician card, Gemini Virgo energy. This is someone having all that they need to get the job done. Okay, so what that looks like, you know, is you don't have to go and buy nothing extra. You don't have to call on any uh, divine power because you own, you own the power. Okay, so if you are a person that hasn't done anything to wrong anyone, okay, and if you did, you took accountability, there's a new beginning here for you with the sun card being here. Oh, yeah, somebody definitely passed the cycle by letting someone go, stepping into their own calling here. Know that you are protected, especially if you are a Sagittarius watching this, okay, um, as well as a Capricorn. You could be on the cuts. Okay, somebody traveled away from their child's mother, child's father. Some of you um, that are karmic, you definitely need to, I'm, I'm hearing a Capricorn, somebody doesn't pay attention to their children, okay, or they're not involved in their children's life. You may have walked away from this person because of that. They're receiving karma with the Wheel of Fortune being here, Sagittarius energy, all right, uh, what's happening here is you're receiving all the abundance and this person is having to pay the cost to be the boss for whatever it was done to you or you done to them um, in the dark. Some of you could have a wolf dog. OK, yeah. Somebody's trying to form cords of attachments through black magic. All right. They're also trying to associate themselves with you some kind of way. For some of you, you don't even know this person. OK, yeah, yeah. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Capricorn in this reading, okay? Capricorn has been doing some really dirty, devilish things. With Capricorn at the bottom of the deck, somebody got paid to perform some black magic. Now, for some of you, this uh, magician is here because this is a, 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 not a shaman. Okay, somebody could be a shaman, but this is someone that... Um, you know, do does death rituals and things of that sort, okay? With Mercury here, they sign contracts with people. Um, Gemini Virgo energy, all right? This person could be mentally manipulative um, towards you in the past, okay? They could have lied. This is somebody that's very intellectual. They know how to cloak themselves. Yeah. Somebody does a lot of mental uh, manipulation, that's why we have Aries here. Wow. All right. All right. So transformation regardless. Some of you may be seeing butterflies. You could have butterfly tattoos or fairy tattoos. Or, you, yeah. Somebody could have used the fairies um, to do some sort of magic on you, to cause some sort of transformation. This is somebody that um, goes to church. Okay. They could even work in a church here. Or work around the church. Their father could have been uh, a pastor for some of you. Somebody done spell work on a religious group as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strong spell work. This is talking about soul ties and soul contracts here. All right, so we have Neptune and Virgo. So this is somebody that su suffers from some sort of psychosis, especially around the full moon. They could also like to astral travel or astral project into people's dreams, okay? They could, like, sexual rape, okay? Just, you know, the R word with the moon card being here, all right? So, yeah, this is somebody that masses themselves. They're also good at shape-shifting, with the Aquarius being here, this is somebody that has androgynous energy. So they could come as a male or as a female. This person is hiding or you're hiding. All right. With Taurus being here, they could definitely have um, Capricorn in the Venus. All right. Mm -hmm. Or this. Yeah, this person could have uh, oh, Capricorn in Venus. <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh, they could have Capricorn in the seventh house or you could have uh, Capricorn in the seventh house yeah Venus energy you could have you could have it in Capricorn or Taurus in your Venus okay which indicates that 
all your relationships have been hard. Okay. They have all been a learning experience. Make sure to get your birth chart. Okay. So you could have high intuition. Okay. Or somebody could have been trying to tap into someone's finances. Okay. Or tap into someone's mental space. Yeah. They're receiving karma for that. You could be dealing. Well, yeah, you could be dealing with the Capricorn or, you know, you Capricorn, you, you did something to this mother or the mother of your child for money. That's just period point blank. Really nasty. Uh, yeah. Somebody could have caused a physical death as well. There's a lot of that coming out here. Yeah. Power hungry. Um, this person is like a bully. Yeah. I don't know what reading I did before it is. What was it? Leo. Check out Leo, Leo's reading. Definitely with the strength card being here. They could have uh, Leo in their chart. This is someone that does solar plex uh, magic on people. They lack self-esteem. They lack courage. They may appear to be, um, I heard online, but they are a coward, a wimp, and a simp. Yeah. So pain in reverse. So whatever pain this person tried to send out to you, if they did it to themselves or if they hired someone to send negative energy towards you, it's all been reversed. Yeah. This person is out of balance. They're losing everything. People are moving away from them. Okay. With the passion and the space. OK, so this person watches you. They're very confident. It's like um, like they think everything that they do uh, to you, you know, say if you get a splinter, they like, yeah, you got a splinter. Hi, yeah, my spell is working. No, nah, bitch. No, nah. dumbass. OK, the spell is working on you because you are obsessed with me. That's what I heard. The world car. Why is the world car here? Somebody's traveling. Somebody's traveling. Somebody's also trying to hide. <laughs> in this reading <laughs> okay so somebody needs to trust their intuition about this uh capricorn okay they could possibly be uh in the middle of traveling from one state to another trying to hide out yeah somebody could have uh children in different states as well this is saying be be cautious of this person because as quick as they come is the you know the fastest they the fastest they'll go. Why is the hermit car here? Virgo energy. Somebody's definitely watching you. If you are uh, in the public eye, social media, yeah, they're watching you. All right, with the flow here, somebody's been doing spiritual baths. All right, for others of you, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Or you could be this Virgo and it's just as like, you know what? I'm leaving this situation with this Capricorn here. I've been trying to make things work, um, you know, <clears throat> and they're they're not, not working here with flow here. This person needs to cleanse their energy, cleanse their space. They probably have been trying to, but if they're a part of any conjuring work, all those entities are around them right now. It's making them miserable. They lack faith, caution. They're out of balance, fearful. They're fearful. Um, they're being told to surrender or, or repent here. Yeah. With space here. They need to, yeah. So this person is um, has a lot of karma. If this is your child's father or your child's mother, you may want to uh, not associate with them. I heard Captain say, do not Captain save them, no. Don't do that. Because this person is responsible for a lot of destruction in someone's life. They're definitely trying to come back. Uh, a rebirth here. You want to celebrate. This person is going to mask themselves as something that they're not would create here. We have five, two, five. That could be uh, July 5th or, oh, what is that? Leo? Mm, is, that, is that Leo? I think so. Uh, yeah. Leo. They could be a Leo Cancer Cuss. Or Leo Virgo cusp, okay? So somebody definitely wants to celebrate with you. This person is trying to connect with you telepathically here with the Create card, all right? Um, they're trying to create some sort of obstacles in your life. Yeah. <laughs> they lack boundaries here, so you need to put your defenses up against this person. With the 321, that could be someone's birthday, or it could be somebody's life path number. Um, as well as six, okay? Um, I'm getting 33. So somebody's uh, involved with uh, Ascended Master here, 
okay or somebody could have had some sort of kundalini rising or spiritual awakening due to this person's trauma okay that they put on you but boundaries being here it says the official line that uh what is this divides one area of land from another the point at which something ends or beyond which it becomes something else okay outcome avoid caution quarrels action sensitivity so this person um, or you didn't trust your intuition about completing the cycle with this person in the past. Some of us, some of you need to trust that you'll be okay. Um, if you are on the higher vibration of karma, you may be getting signs to travel. Okay. Some of you may have been getting signs to cleanse your space, like your environment, like people are turning against you because they no longer need to be in your life. I'm hearing the lesson is over, like let them go. Don't try to cap them, save them. Okay. For others of you, you're wondering why this person ghosted you is because they have a lot of secrets. Flow. They're trying to hide their involvement in something. This is like somebody that does a lot of dirt in one area and then they may relocate. Okay. They're kind of nomadic. Something fell on the floor. Some of you, this person held, held back the fact that they were in a commitment or they signed some sort of contract to do some harm. Uh, let's see what fell. Let's look at, ooh. Look what fell on the floor. Grief. Yeah, so <laughs> somebody's about to lose everything because they were so adamant about invading someone's privacy or boundaries. Yeah, threatening people. Some of you, these people could have threatened you online, tried to intimidate you. If that is the case, the uh, FBI is aware of it or or the CIA. Yeah. Is it, I'm hearing terrorist that terrorist threats. Somebody could have also been stupid enough to hire a hitman, and is, it is documented documented in someone's phone records. Why is flow here? Yeah, I heard know that you're being watched, and I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, that could be you being uh, this person that done all these things is being watched. Okay. Um, for some of you, you know that you are being watched because you have some sort of a case against you, okay? Or some sort of case active. For some of you, it's not against you. It's working in your favor, okay? Um, and these people, whoever's involved may know that, okay? So it says 520. That could be someone's birthday. It could be life past soul, earth number. But this is regarding the past, okay? Power, will, focus, face fears, Mm. This person is uh, not at peace that uh, not at peace. <laughs> this person is not at peace at this moment. All right. They're very suspicious of everyone and they're having a difficult time here. All right. So it says simplify to make something less complicated or easier to understand. Outcome, surprise, caution, get out and make things happen. Action, open up. So, yeah, somebody's in hermit mode. Somebody needs to, like, I'm hearing repent, okay? Somebody needs to confess or possibly turn themselves in, okay? Yeah, positiveness. Somebody could be also on the run because they, they're, they're getting scapegoated for something. They had something to do with, but, yeah, um, they weren't. They could have got hired to do something and now they are on the run. Okay. For some of you, it could even be your child. Like your child didn't come home one day, but you know that they're alive. Okay. It's because they had some sort of involvement in a gang uh, activity for some of you. That's not for everybody. So it says 130. That could be a birthday. It could be a life path number three or one. So urge number or whatever. Okay. Uh, so it says emotional uh, tribal power, emotional and mental health that originated with family solution, manage the problem, affirmation, all is one positiveness, confident, optimistic and focusing on good things rather than bad and encouraging, supportive or optimistic way outcome, ego in the way, caution. Don't let fear of rejection or looking foolish stop you. Action center. So yeah, somebody needs to confess their involvement in it. Okay, it, it it'll um, 
release the burden that's on their heart because somebody could definitely be having heart issues okay all right so like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later